During the last several decades, the percentage of school-age children without incident of caries and permanent teeth has steadily declined due to the widespread use of fluorides and other preventative aids. However, children and adults are still susceptible to developing caries. Dental sealants have a long history of safe and effective use. Nationwide studies have shown that with a single application of a sealant on children, there is an average of 45 to 57 percent lower incidence rate of dental caries compared to children not being treated with sealants. The most common concern expressed by dental professionals is that sealants may cover up caries producing microorganisms. Studies support the concept that caries do not progress under a properly placed and finished sealant. Today, dental sealants continue to be one of the most preventative treatments for children and adults alike. There are also additional benefits provided by properly placed sealants. They include less time spent at the dentist, decreased risk of tooth fracture, and reduced cost. For example, the fee for a sealant is at least half that for a single surface amalgam. Dental sealants are protective, plastic-like coatings that are applied to the occlusal surface of molars and other areas where pits occur. Sealants penetrate the deep pits and fissures of a tooth sealing out bacteria that causes dental caries. Sealant material is similar in composition to light cured composite resin restorative material. It is available partially filled or unfilled. The fillers are added to increase the strength of the sealant. In addition, fluoride is added to enhance the anti-caries effect. Most sealants today are light cured and come in clear, enamel, or opaque shades. UltraSeal XT Plus Pit and Fissure Sealant is a light cured 58% filled resin sealant material. It is radiopaque and thixotropic, meaning that it thins when delivered into pits and fissures with an Inspiro brush tip. It will not run after placement. It also has an added benefit in that, once applied, releases fluoride. It comes in four shades, opaque white, A1, A2, and clear. Because it is significantly filled, Ultra Seal XT Plus has less polymerization shrinkage than other sealants and is stronger and more wear resistant than any other sealant on the market today. In fact, Ultra Seal XT Plus is rated the number one choice for sealants by Reality, the dental industry's premier information source on aesthetic dental products. The time involved for sealant application is short, and its application is easy and efficient. Proper application of Ultra Seal XT Plus is performed in five easy steps. First, you prepare the teeth to be sealed by cleaning the pits and fissures, followed by moisture control and isolation. Secondly, the enamel is etched to increase the surface area for bonding. The third step involves rinsing, drying, and priming the enamel for the sealer material. Fourth, the resin is applied and last it is polymerized by light curing. Using a Typodont tooth that has been prepared for sealant application, note where the pits and fissures are located. For this exercise, the pits and fissures have been enhanced. Now notice the areas for sealant placement on the occlusal surfaces of a molar. Now a pit on the lingual of an anterior. Using the conventional polishing method, pumice polish the occlusal surface of tooth number 19. Studies have found that no deleterious effects have occurred when polishing either with fluoridated or non-fluoridated polishing paste. The tooth is then rinsed thoroughly and dried. Sealant failures occur most often with saliva contamination. Appropriate cotton roll isolation provides the same protection as that provided by rubber dam. Use of a triangular shaped absorbent buckle shield provides additional protection when placed over the parotid papilla and salivary duct in the cheek. Etching the tooth prior to applying sealant provides optimal conditioning of both dentin and enamel. A 35% ultra etch gel is dispensed over the area that requires sealing. Allow the gel to remain for 15 seconds. Thoroughly rinse the tooth for 20 to 30 seconds, followed by drying for several seconds. An extracted tooth is shown here so you may see a properly etched surface. Note the chalky frosted white appearance. Ultra Etch is the recipient of a 5 star rating from Reality and is recognized as the industry's top etch product. But remember that any strong acid such as a phosphoric acid in Ultra Etch can burn and irritate tissues, so be careful not to splash Ultra Etch into the eyes, onto mucous membranes, skin, or any other area. To ensure that the occlusal surface is completely free from moisture, 
Use hydrophilic Primadry to evaporate moisture from the pits and fissures. Apply Primadry and leave for 5 seconds. Apply a gentle stream of air to remove excess material and dry the surface. Do not rinse. Primadry acts as a primer which enhances the bond between the sealant material and enamel. It virtually eliminates microleakage. Now that tooth is prepared, the etching, rinsing, drying, priming have been completed. You are ready to apply the sealant material. Express a small drop of Ultra Seal XT Plus at the end of its Inspiro brush tip. Using a gentle scrubbing motion, apply to the deepest part of the pits and fissures. Express another small drop and lightly paint on the desired amount. Continue until you create the final shape to the sealant. Sealant material appears thin when applied for maximum penetration into the pits and fissures. Once in place, it slightly thickens in order to minimize running. Curing of the sealant should occur quickly after placement in order to avoid contamination. Using a standard curing light, cure for 20 seconds. For a high energy curing light, cure for 10 seconds. Inspect the sealant and probe with an explorer for coverage and occlusal height. If sealant dislodges, repeat the process. The final result is a beautiful, strong, long-lasting sealant. The two main objectives are to minimize the entrapment of air bubbles and to place enough material to completely cover the pits and fissures without interfering with occlusion. Inadequate coverage of pits and fissures will produce sealant failure and can cause caries formation. Excess material causes occlusal interference and will require extensive finishing. Here is the five-step sealant application procedure shown again on a patient. Pumice polish the occlusal surface. The tooth is then rinsed thoroughly and dried. Appropriate cotton roll isolation provides the same protection as that provided by rubber dam. Use of a triangular shaped absorbent buckle shield provides additional protection when placed over the parotid papilla and salivary duct in the cheek. Etch the tooth for 15 seconds. Then rinse and dry. Apply Primer Dry for 5 seconds, then dry. Apply Ultra Seal. Then cure for 20 seconds. The final result, a beautiful, strong, long-lasting sealant. The dental community can significantly benefit from the safe and cost-effective use of the pit and fissure sealants. Sealants are and will continue to be needed by all.